Shifting now to a very different story, the plaintiff in the historic Roe versus Wade abortion case, Norma McCorvey, passed away on Saturday at the age of 69. Here to discuss the case uh, and McCorvey's life is I-24 News International Affairs correspondent Bianca Zanini. Hi, Bianca. So uh, shifting gears now to a very different yes. topic. Um, explain, first of all, the case. Well, what we need to understand here is that Norma McCorvey, McCorvey was not just an important figure. She was also a very, very controversial mm -hmm. figure for uh, the women's rights movement. Um, she was the woman behind the name Jane Roe from the famous uh, Roe v. Wade case that really changed everything for, for, for women and their rights on abortion. Mm -hmm. um, the Supreme Court established in 1973 that women have a constitutional right to abortion within the first two months of pregnancy. And this fell under the constitutional right to privacy actually, which is very interesting. And then, uh, until then, each state could, each state could legislate, um, forcing many women to travel far to get illegal abortions and endangering their, their lives. And now, uh, Norma, she, she was an interesting woman, as I said. Uh, yeah. she, she was pregnant, she was single, and she tried to get With an her abortion. Third, her, it was her third pregnancy, and, and, and it was very much unwanted. Very and, much unwanted. And, and didn't her friends try to convince her to file it as rape? Just she so that did she did actually get try to do that. Yeah. first and then she tried to 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 get it illegally and all that failed and so as a third option she tried to hire some lawyers mm -hmm. and then the Roe v case uh, v um, Wade case was born mm -hmm. um, the decision didn't come in time for her she had to um, adopt but um, I think we have a VO here a, 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 clip. a clip exactly of uh, what she said okay. um, let's yeah. have a look I started talking to the women um, before they would go in for their abortions, after they would come out. And it was the same thing over and over. They all regretted it. As much as I'd like to see Roe versus Wade overturn, I, I don't know if it'll happen in our lifetime or even in my grandchildren's lifetime. But it will happen. So she's the face of this case, but now she's saying, or she, she did say in this uh, video that she wants it overturned. Yes, yeah, she became a born-again Christian and actually went on the other side and tried fighting it. And uh, she fought it until, until the day she, she passed this week. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she, she did not live to see it overturned. But anti-abortion activists became, began to fight this, uh, this uh, decision from the Supreme Court the day after, as soon as it was made. Mm -hmm. And lately, things have been going their way. I, I think we have uh, graphics showing some numbers. Since mm -hmm. 2011, um, abortion clinics have closed at a record pace in the U.S., really? uh, more than 30 every year just disappearing. And, and, and what this means for women in the States is that women and girls have to travel really far to other cities, sometimes to other states, to be able to, to terminate a pregnancy, an mm -hmm. unwanted pregnancy. Mm -hmm. In Texas, for instance, more than half of the clinics have closed wow. just recently. And, and so at no time before, uh, since before 1973, has a woman's ability to, to get an abortion been more dependent on their zip code and their financial means it's to a travel. a very sensitive topic. Bianca, thanks so much uh, for being here today.